There's no question this world could ever ask of you, none written or ever heard, that it's not answered and spelled out in God's holy word. Amen. For by God's word, this whole world was created and everything within. God's word is the only word on which we can always depend. For the words that we speak are often influenced by our emotional environment. We speak during times of amazement, amusement, astonishment, excitement, disappointment, bereavement, or during the heat of argument. Often during such incidents, words are spoken that are not really meant. But in God's word, every word he spoke, Old and New Testament, was exactly what he meant. God's word is the most important element of your spiritual development. In heaven, it has settlement. God's word is enrichment, enlargement, enlightenment, and refreshment. Take a self-assessment. Make a timely adjustment to the commitment of a daily appointment. Study God's word. Rub it in as ointment, the oil of anointment. Use it as equipment until you feel the movement towards living in godly contentment, free of the resentment that tends to taint our temperament. For you are God's instrument through his word. You can implement empowerment and encouragement to rise people above discouragement. Stand in agreement. A word foundation pours out stronger than any cement. For joy beyond containment, this is not about entertainment. It's time for spiritual rearrangement. And yes, even as you walk in God's word, every day will not feel like an endless celebration. For Jesus said in this world, there will be tribulation. But he will never leave you, nor will he forsake you. Nothing can overtake you. He'll do for you what he's doing for me. Allow me to break it down alphabetically, beginning with the letter Z. Yes, beginning with the letter Z. Zealously zone your zest and zeal. Live for God and do his will. Why? For the yoke broken so that you can be free. Yield in Jesus. Let yesterday be. X marks the spot that is empty in now. your heart. Jesus will fill it and give you a new start. The letter W I would like to reveal is because he is a wheel in the middle of a wheel uh -huh. waiting on us to do his will. Then he will say our will and we will want no more. V is for vivid visions of victorious vessels. Very in varieties, very special. You for understanding, get it above all things. T, talk to Jesus, tell him about your pain. S is for his super that he puts on our natural. R raises a riddle. Are you really right and ready for the rapture? Q is a quiz in the question I just asked. I quote the quantitative and qualifying fact. If you are quick to be quiet, spend quality time in Christ's rest. He'll quicken you so you won't quit your quest. P, the power of prayer that changes things. O, that is how we overcame. In is for our natural God makes us super. M, God makes us, molds us, moves us. L, Lord, lock us in your love lest we lose us. K, he'll keep you if you want to be kept. J is for Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. J is for Jesus. That name needs nothing else. And Jesus is Jesus all by himself. I, if in all things you will trust him, if in all things you will give thanks, in all your struggles he'll strengthen you, that you need not faint. H is for how he holds us in the hollow of his holy hand, heals us where it hurts, and helps us understand. G, because God is good. G, because God is great. G is for giving up your guilt and getting grieved at the glorious gate. F is for the father, the fountain, the fortress. You'll never find a more faithful friend. E is for his eternal love that never ends. D is for doing dynamic deeds with diligence and dedication. The deeds that you do determine your destination. C is for coming close to Christ was crucified on Calvary's cross, changing your condition because he already covered the cross. Be is for bountiful blessings being bestowed because of your belief, bound under his blessed hand and being content to be beneath. A is for the Alpha, the Almighty, the Absolute Answer to any and all questions asked. And now that I completed my alphabetic task, I have a simple question that I would like to ask. Why would Holy Spirit teach me the alphabet of reverse to take the letter that comes last and say it first? Why would he intensify my task to take the letter that comes first and say it last? Well, he told me that's because life 
will sometimes flip the script. And if you don't have Jesus, you will lose your grip. Because he saw the ending in the beginning. We're all being transformed into his image. Because what was last was first. What was first will be last. So move on up to the front of the class. Keep walking in your blessings as you move along God's path. We already covered his alphabet, so I'm ending with his math. He has numbered every hair that he placed upon your your head, multiplied a few loaves and fish, divided them among thousands to be fed. He subtracted damnation from your soul when Jesus died upon the cross, and that all adds up to salvation, equaling zero souls that had to be lost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord, for being with us through all of life's turns and twists. And as I depart, my brothers and sisters, I'll leave you with this. Yes. If life gives you lemons, go ahead and make that lemonade, build a lemonade stand, sell it, and get paid. I thank you for receiving this chapter of the story. I am his humble servant. To God be all. To God be all, yes. to God be all the glory, amen. Yes.